Every year, Susana Martinez Cody and I host a um, Best Illusion of the Year Award, which, which uh, has significant cash prizes for the winners. And we get dozens or sometimes more than 100 submissions from around the world. Anybody can submit. There's no criterion to stop you from doing it. Um, and uh, a, a group of uh, international judges made up of the winners from last year plus disinterested parties uh, uh, from various fields then take those submissions and narrow it down to the best 10. Those 10, the top 10, then are posted on YouTube and the contest is voted on by the public who just watches them during the period of time, which usually happens in December for about a week. And, and we count the votes and then the winners win prizes. So I thought I'd tell you about some of the, some of the most recent illusions. Um, you can look at these. We've had 16 contests so far. It's annual, so we've had 160 novel illusions that are world-class uh, novel illusions or variants of, of, of illusions. And, and this is what I mean by illusion, okay? So here you see some beautiful birds, right? These birds are actually in black and white. So they look like they're colored, not because they're colored, but because you've got some fields of color here on the left that are non-overlapping with the actual birds in high resolution here. So the, you can see the stripes here are where the colors actually are. But your visual system integrates the color and the, and the black and white aspects of the images here so that you see colorful birds when, in fact, the birds themselves are uh, essentially integrating the color from around them. So your brain essentially has a low resolution color mechanism and a high resolution luminance mechanism, and it mixes these things. And this is how you see color anyway. So that's why this illusion works. So these are the kinds of things that we do as visual neuroscientists to study how the visual system actually puts together information from the visual world. Now, this is an illusion from the actual contest. Um, and uh, here you see three roads. Two of them are identical, as you can see. And the ones on the right, and no, I mean, the ones on the left are identical. And when you, well, darn it, which one of these are identical? Okay, so what's going on here? What you have here is you have two objects that if you were in the real world standing at the, the, the foot of a highway, okay, these two roads would converge in the distance and you're seeing it as a three-dimensional object. But they're not congruent objects, okay? You can also look at these, a third object here and see that it's congruent with one of them. Right? So you've got congruency, which is a geometric concept on a flat piece of paper, and you've got the feeling of something going off into the depth because of the rules of perspective. Your brain sees that for you as two, as two identical objects. Okay? So it's very hard for us humans who use flat retinas to see three-dimensional objects as flat when they could be, in perspective, three-dimensional. Okay, so another example here. This was the winner, the most recent first prize winner from the magician Matt Pritchard in England. Oh, I'm sorry, I take it back. That's the next one. This is from Sujihara. This is very similar to the talk that you just saw on circles and squares. This is a real mirror in the back, and he's 3, 3D printed these objects. Sujihara has spoken here at Gathering for Gardener before and shown similar things, if not this particular object. So this object is called a squircle, okay? And you can see that in the mirror, it's round, and in the front, it's, it's uh, square. And what's spectacular about this is that it doesn't have to be topologically possible, okay? So again, there's no CGI here. You're seeing this with your real eyes. They're exactly the same objects in the mirror and looking at them directly from the camera. But what's different here is the angle at which you're looking at them with. Okay, so very similar to the square and circle that you just saw, but now just at an angle instead of through it. So that's just absolutely wrong. Okay, so now uh, this is the winner from, from this year. Uh, this is, again, my map picture of the, the, um, the magician. And you can see here there's a queen in the mirror that's not in front. Again, this is a mirror. It's not CGI, and this is impossible. The queen also moves around on its own, which is easier to understand, but, but here's how he did it, okay? So you have anamorphic uh, invisibility shields, and when he does it with the queen, he does it from both sides. So similar to the squircle illusion from Sujihara, 
this screen that he's looking at in front of the, 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 the queen is camouflaged geomet with the correct analytical geometry from both sides, whether you're looking at the mirror or looking at it directly, so that the, the shield itself is invisible from either direction, okay? Okay, so this illusion is an attention illusion. Um, so you can see here, um, there it is, um, that you're gonna look at a, a typical scientific laboratory with hundreds of objects, and all you have to do is tell me, you might see that some of them change. You just have to tell me which one, how, count how many are changing, because you just count them as they change, and let me know at the end how long this, or how many have changed. Okay, I hope you're counting a lot because a lot of them are changing. In fact, in this, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, in this, the majority of objects changed. In fact, 100 objects, is, uh, for, to my count, changed there. So let's take a look and see which ones actually changed. Okay, so virtually everything in the room changed. How many noticed any? How many did you notice? Give me a number. Yeah. Yeah, you guys really suck. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't worry though, it's totally normal. You know, I, I've run out of time, I think, so I don't have time to explain the attentional effects of this. <laughs> but bring me back in a couple of years and I'll be happy to do that. Anyway, thank you very much for your time.